Hello student. Today we are going to discuss about educational significance of stages of human development, infancy, childhood and adolescence. Let us all look into the nature of education in infancy. So the education of the infant has mostly to consist of the training of his or her senses and the apparatus of education has to consist of concrete materials as we have in Montessori method. So the process of education has to consist of activities and concrete experiences. The child should be given enough uh, experiences. The child should be given enough opportunity to take part in various activities and concrete experience. The infant course of education must provide something uh, for the satisfaction of the instinct of submission and self-satisfaction. So the school, it must also have the provision for the satisfaction of child fantasy. The teacher has a great role to play. So the teacher has to see that the infant emotional needs are fully satisfied. They should not ignore any child but they should cater to the needs of each and every child and satisfy the needs the system of reward and punishment can be utilized for making the infant training effective and also properly self-governed he or she should know how to act and not why to act and also the school activity should be based on pleasure principle that is activity in which the child is mostly interested so playway method may be applied and also unsympathetic attitude of the father lead to the sentiment of hatred therefore in infancy stage the lady teacher are preferred for children and the child experience should be enriched properly and effectively and the child should be taken out of doors such as to the field they can be taken to the park zoo and so on to have the knowledge of the world Childhood is the time when the individual basic values and ideals are shaped to the great extent and here the child become more curious about the world and he wants to know how things are done and he is mostly interested in outdoor activities. So the teacher must provide different occupations so that uh, he can develop fully and up to the optimum level the child is deeply interested in outdoor activities like running climbing swimming camping and in different activities thus the proper activity should be given to him according to his needs and interests and the child curiosity should be um solved by speech freedom and free expression so what the teacher can do is that they can they can solve their curiosity by explaining to them true stories and picture reading and also the child uh, at this stage is intensely curious to know how things work in this world so he or she is eager to attain information hence learning at this stage should be based upon proper arousal of curiosity and the child should be given proper opportunity for the ex exercise of his constructive instinct and here the learning should be done through learning by doing so project method storytelling dramatization all this can have a strong influence at this stage and also the school should have a proper provision for fine arts to satisfy the child instinct and sex instinct and emotional needs and discipline here should be self-governed rather than done by restriction beside this provision for games and outdoor activities social and community activities should also have place in education system adolescence is the period of stress strain storm and stress that was rightly said by Stanley Hall when the child reaches adolescent stage the parents and the society both expect the adolescent should progress towards physical and emotional, mental and physical maturity. So to help them march ahead steadily in this direction, it is the fundamental duty of every education system. So to solve the problem of adolescence, the first and the firmest thing for teacher in every school is to develop a warm attitude towards students and a genuine interest in them and also acceptance of emotionally disturbed students by the teacher is the basic principle which they must start the teacher should accept every student 
and also they should be properly guided according to their individual differences this help the student to understand to deal with the problem and issues and it will also bridge the gap between the teacher and the student the teacher and the suffering people those who are having issues with their personality and also it will give them a emotional security and also a single sentence of sympathetic attitude of a teacher will restore self confidence in the student and may be more helpful than a long and a highly technical interview conducted in an impersonal manner by a counselor by introducing those to suitable literature teachers can help the student to satisfy the needs for adventure love and affection so relevant literature must develop in a more realistic attitude and understanding about the world and here in this stage since se uh, sex instinct is very intense and violent at this stage there is a urgent need of sex education and when sex education is given to the student the teacher should not give them in hints but in plain straightforward talk knowledge uh, increasing knowledge about sex education will help the child to understand the different tendency in harmony with each other the adolescent has to be uh, provided hard physical activities in order to exercise his or her fully developed physique and relieve his or her sex pressure curriculum should apply enough material for the satisfaction of his or her taste hero worship attitude will develop during the stage and so this attitude must be directed towards desirable qualities heroes should be from real life of history and literature the teacher can give them examples of famous personality and their work uh, how they have impacted the world with the um famous work the teacher can give them example like um Mahatma Gandhi who is the father of the nation and also Mother Teresa who helped so many people so this example can be given to a child so that hero's attitude may be directed toward desirable qualities and also here the child is born to be very self conscious and they might have the daydreaming attitude so the teacher should keep a track of that and the teacher should help the individual occupied in various games and also different activities should be initiated in the school and also the teacher should give them enough opportunity to participate in co-curricular activities and programs and proper vocational guidance should be given with a view to select the future career of the individual and emotional life of every child should be well balanced and all activities causing frustration disappointment conflict and stress should be curtailed and also the school should seek for a cultural unity for humanity as a whole an abundance of interesting material and manual craft work plenty of outdoor exercises games regular sleep hygiene food arrangement and also visiting places and tours all this should be inculcated in the school curriculum all play their part in the sublimation of the tendency during the critical period of life